Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't put out as many videos in the last few months as I have been before, but I've been really busy. Uh, one thing I've been busy with is actually building uh, cars, but also school, work, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, today, we are going to take a look at this manta ray. Um, this is a kit that I could have bought when it was first re-released back in 2018. I saw it and I thought about it and I bought a, instead of this is a DFO1, I bought a DFO3 uh, TRF MST kit um, and I always regretted it because it's such a cool iconic car. I remember from when I was a kid. So I finally built one because they've released the re-releases again and today we'll uh, take a look at what I built and then we'll take it outside and we'll do some driving and uh, see how it performs. So stick around. Here is the car. Um, it is uh, pretty much stock. A few extra things I've done. Uh, you may notice I have my Optima Mid uh, wheels and tires on it. Um, so I've done that. I think it looks kind of kind of cool. Um, I still have the original wheels and, and disc wheels and stuff. Just these really spiky tires. They look really nice when you put them on. Um, I find you get about three battery packs and then your tires are done. So I thought maybe I'll just keep these uh, Tamiya Super Gripper tires. Maybe I need them for a different build or something. And the rims are actually quite nice. I thought about using these uh, speed discs with uh, these tires, um, but these tires are narrower. So these rims are actually wider. So in the end, I didn't bother. So anyway, that's the one thing you may notice is different. The other thing is probably the paint job. So I didn't quite get the effect that I wanted. I think you can kind of see it on camera. We are very black down here and then we move up to, and you can see the silver coming up here and then the silver wing. This is bright gunmetal. So this stage of here, I kind of wanted here. And there's a little bit, I can see in the sides there, a little bit, but I went too heavy on the black. So I kind of hoped that it would be pure silver by the time we hit the top, but it still has a nice nice effect. We look at the front, it looks black, and we look at the back and it's silver, kind of like a real shark skin would be. Um, another thing, uh, I this is actually not solid color. It's very, very thick, but it's translucent. I think in the sunlight you might be able to see through it. It's not showing up on camera. I was gonna put a driver figure in it and I had one and I saw it a few a few weeks ago and when I went to do the building, I couldn't find it. So I just put a lot more paint on and so you can't see inside. And for this decal work, I put on some decals. I put on the silver ones. I thought that helped match um, with the silver that comes at the back or the bright gunmetal. Um, Tamiya, I put some blockhead stickers. I think they look rather nice because they're red and white. We have the red stripes, put the red Tamiya, and we do a little yellow, a little blockhead up front, and a little Turtles Championship team on the side. Pretty nice. Um, other than that, it is uh, pretty much a stock vehicle. Now, you may notice we have different shocks. These are the Yeah Racing buggy shocks. Now, the front shocks on a uh, Manta Ray are supposed to be 85 millimeters and the back ones are supposed to be 95. Unfortunately, yeah racing doesn't make 85 and 95 So I bought 90s and I put five five millimeters of um, Shims I guess you're not really shim, but I put five millimeters of Rings underneath the piston. It's just actually two rings um, to shorten it and the same on the back. So these are actually 100 and reduced to 95. I think they're gonna work quite well. They seem to have pretty good dampening. She, she doesn't bounce, she lands pretty soft there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, what else have I done? So 
let's take off the the body. It's a little tricky up front. There we go. There's the body, and you can see that is actually trans trans uh, translucent, which is very thick. There we go. We'll set that here. So inside the car, we can see we're running LiPo. We have the standard 1060 um, ESC from Hobbywing. I got the RTR one, save some money. I put in an OMG 20 kilogram Pro Servo. I don't think I need too much speed up front, so that should work. We're running the Noble um, contr um, controller. And I put a super stock motor in the back. So ball raced, nice oil shocks. Um, nice motor. I think this thing is going to run quite well. Um, I don't think it'll win any races. It's not brush brushless, but I think it's going to run quite well. Now, as far as the design goes, it's kind of a mix. It's kind of like my, uh, my, uh, my big wig and my, my Tomahawk and my DFO three. It's like, you definitely see the Tamiya uh, pedigree in it. Um, but it's, it's its own thing, and I think it should ride um, pretty uniquely. Now, I bought this instead of buying the RC10, uh, the buggy that came out. I think it was the right choice. Let's take this thing outside. Uh, we'll do some filming. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. This is going to run pretty well. Um, this is definitely a very cool, cool vehicle. I hope you like it. Let's go take a look. All right, let's uh, let's see how this works. Ooh, she's quick. That BC superstar. She goes well.
right? Okay. Let's see. We'll do a couple of runs of that. That should be enough. Let's see what speed we get out of this BZ super stock motor. 43 kilometers an hour, which is not bad. I mean, 2S LiPo, um, 2S LiPo, brush motor, 43. I'm happy with that. You put a brushless in this? Oh, let's turn that up. We could easily hit like 60. Easily.
this is awesome. Um, I'm going to make a recommendation. If you're getting into building cameos, you're getting build, building, building kits, um, this one is not hard to build. This took, oh, maybe you could do four or five, maybe six hours. I don't know. It wasn't very long. I just came home after work, worked on it for an hour, a couple evenings, and worked on it for like three hours on Friday. Like, yeah, like five hours you can, you can build this. So it's actually quite easy to build. It performs quite well. Um, put the ball races in, put the ball bearings. Um, probably the stock shocks are fine. You don't need this. So just the ball bearings. I think it's an excellent kit. You don't have any ball diffs. They're all gear diffs that are unadjustable. So they're really open, but it performs really well. There's not much to break. In fact, I haven't broken it. Um, a lot of time as I come out and I'd be jumping them off stairs or doing some of the stuff, doing, jumping off ramps, some of the things I did with this today, um, they're definitely broken pieces. So the arms are quite sturdy. Um, you can see a little bit of wear there. That's a lot of that just came from jumping off the stairs there and slapping, but it slaps evenly. Um, so the arms are still in good shape. Um, yeah, that, that's a, a beautiful running car. I've had a lot of fun with this today. I would say, yeah, you want to get into the hobby, you want to build something, go out and pick one of these up. They're about $100. Buy some ball bearings. You can put in a faster motor. You want to go a whole 42 kilometers an hour. Um, definitely recommend it. That, that, that's actually a very nice upgrade. Um, definitely do this. Buy this one over things like Top Force or more finicky. Over a Durga. I think the last buggy I had out was my Durga. I definitely recommend this over the Durga. Uh, it is just plug and play. It is just turn it on and go. Super fun, cool body, cool graphics. What can I say? This is a great car. So that's all. That's all I have for you today. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please do. We've over a thousand subscribers. Which is, which is really cool. Um, so I think I made like eight bucks, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shy about. I'll go out there. It's a little humble brag. I made eight dollars, um, but I'm really pleased about it. Um, so we get some ads running. Let me know if there's too many ads. I got to go into YouTube. Um, back in the day when I had my other channel and I used to run ads, it used to be like banner ads and corner ads and stuff like that. Page ads. And now it's like, seems like it takes over your video. I wouldn't know because I've been on YouTube Red slash Premium since it started, so I haven't seen a, an advertisement on, on YouTube in quite some time. So let me know if there's too many ads. I'll cut back on some of them. I mean, I might cut back on my 7 or $8 a week, but that's okay. I can afford it. Um, as always, you can buy me a coffee and buymeacoffee.com. Um, I'm going to, if I ever collect much money there, I'm going to put it towards like a, 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 a channel build that everyone gets to choose that donated money. I've decided that's what I'll do with the money. Um, but now it's like $15 or something, so we're not doing a build with that. Um, that's all for today. I get more videos coming. I'll have a few more out before the end of the month, and then I'll take the summer off. So just so you know, um, watch the ones as they come out because there's not gonna be videos all summer. I will be in Canada. I will be riding motocross. That's what I'll be doing, maybe you want to see motocross vids? Maybe I'll make a little one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.